what's up everyone welcome back to Walt and Sarah's channel today we're going to be making three different style shirts our first one will be using a low temp screen print heat transfer our second shirt we're going to be using a high temp screen print transfer and then our third shirt will be a sublimation print all right first and foremost the most important thing to note if you're using sublimation to make a t-shirt, you want to make sure that your polyester count is over 50%. If it's anything lower, your image really isn't going to show. The amazing, awesome thing about screen printing is that your shirt can be cotton, a blend between cotton and polyester as this one is, or it could be fully polyester, which opens up doors for lots of creations. But let's get started. I'm going to show you first how to do a low temp screen print heat transfer. It's already printed for us. All we have to do is line it up, push down our heat press, and it's done. All right, let's do it. All right, so I have my shirt laid down. I have my image on top of the shirt. And of course, it's a mirrored image. For screen prints, we do not need parchment paper or butcher paper on top of the press here, on top of the sheet, because this paper here is sufficient enough and it will transfer over just perfectly. So this is considered a low temp screen print, okay? So that means we only need this at 320, which you guys can't see. We only need this at 320 and we only need the press for seven seconds. But we do need to make sure that we have heavy pressure. So right now I'm lowering my heat press to give it more pressure. And I understand some people have a button that they can fix their pressure on. Mine is a little knob on the top here, so I'm just gonna press it down. All right, seven seconds on the clock. Now this, particular type of press requires a hot pool, a hot peel, and one consistent motion. And just like that, in seven seconds, we made a very vibrant, very bright shirt. This is a light pink. This is ultra cotton, guys. This is, I mean, for those who start out with sublimation, you're going to be blown away by how easy it is to put an image onto a cotton shirt. There's so many more options with that material versus trying to find 100% polyester to make your shirts. All right, so again, this was a low temp press here. Okay, now our next type of screen print transfer we are going to be pressing is called a high temp screen print heat transfer. All right, so for this one, we're gonna set our heat press to 390 degrees, and we're only still gonna press it for 10 seconds. So it's super fast. Again, no butcher paper, parchment paper, etc. The image is already lined up. It's where I need it to be, and we're still doing that heavy, medium to heavy pressure. Once again, it is a hot peel, nice even motion. And there she is. Just a cool little pumpkin. The best way to remember whether it is a high temp or a low temp, from my experience personally, it seems like images that have multiple colors, that kind of just look like they printed out a graphic seems to be the high print ones. You're always gonna to wanna to refer to whatever instructions come when you order your transfers. But to me, it seems like if it's one or two colors, it's typically a low temp. And if it's like a full blown image, it seems like it's more of a high temp. All right, so next we're gonna do our sublimation image. So let me get that lined up. All right, so I am all set up and I'm ready to press. Now we are going to do our sublimation image. 
as you see, I hope you can see, I did put a press pillow between the shirt because it is a lighter color the ink has the opportunity to run through. So I don't want the image to show on the back, so I'm going to put something in between to help keep that on the front. Now with a sublimation image, you do have to use butcher parchment paper. So just throw a sheet on top. Now we're going to line her up here. And I forgot to release the pressure. You only need medium pressure for a sublimation image. Now I changed my temp and time to 380 for 35 seconds. And I also taped down my image, which you probably saw I did not tape down my screen prints, but for sublimation, you do want to tape it down because you will get ghosting, which means you'll have kind of like a blur to your picture. All right, it is done. Let's see what it looks like now also please bear in mind this shirt is only i believe 48 percent polyester which means it's not going to be as vibrant as we'd like i did not have a 100 percent polyester shirt in the size that i needed to make this particular anime image so i'm just using this one it's actually for my daughter so i don't think she's going to care if it's not so bright so let's reveal our little bear here not too bad for only being 48 percent poly not bad at all especially with the color on the background i think it really fits so as you see sublimation is a little more work it takes you know a couple more seconds than a screen print uh, but the benefit is is that there is no texture because the dyes went directly into the fabric so we don't have a hard feel or any type of um texture I hate to keep reusing the words um so that is the probably the best benefit of sublimation now as you see I don't even know if you guys can hear it there is kind of like a sticky feel to a screen print that is high temp it's actually taking like a image and it almost feels like the paper it reminds me of like an iron on but um, better quality it does last way longer so yeah that is it guys um if you have any questions please leave them in the comments i do respond as soon as i get the notification that y'all left a comment i do answer questions so please feel free to reach out make sure you hit that subscribe button we really really appreciate y'all see you next time